Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. It's What Up Wednesday. I like to tell people that I grew up um, more with Janet Jackson than Joni Mitchell. <laughs> Not that that was like Janet, but um, definitely don't think I knew who Joni Mitchell was until like my late 20s, early 30s. Um, anyway, What Up Wednesday. Today is about letting go. It's a great time for this because it's nearly the end of the year and I'll be doing my one time only, one time per year workshop, Let It Go, Let It Flow um, on December 31st this year. Usually I wait a little bit until the, um, the January's gotten rolling around or Chinese New Year when that comes up. Um, but this year I was like, you know what, we're going to do this on New Year's Eve to help people feel supported, connected um, in this transition from what has been a really interesting year, difficult year, hi Amelia, <laughs> into creating an incredible 2021. So I've called this workshop Let It Go, Let It Flow since 2017. Um when I used to say this little statement uh, before performing a solo, a 60 minute solo that I made called the monomyth. And it was like the words, uh, there's another woman, Bryn Halava, who has a little cameo in that solo. And it was like, we'd say that to each other before, like it's done, it's here, let it go, let it flow. Just show up and do the work. I think there's a lot of different angles though to look at letting go. So I want to talk about a few of those today, and then I'll go into this more in my workshop on December 31st. So first thing is like, sometimes someone might just say, oh, just let it go. Just let it go. And then a part of you, you know, if someone says something to you or something happened and a part of you is like, ah, like that, I can't let that go. Like, look what that person said, or like, how could that have happened to me? You know, those kinds of things, or, um, just, you know, if someone says, just don't worry about it. And a part of you is like, like doing that dance inside. <laughs> there is something to let go of, right? In those situations. It, it, it may, I don't want to say this. I didn't even know I was going here today. Um, what, but what exactly is it that you have to let go of? It might be your own desire to be right about something which always means that someone has to be wrong, not a great way to live your life. It might mean that you have to let go of some part of yourself, some, some decision you're making that when you get criticism, it means something about you. It might mean that you have to let go. Usually it's something that it's meaning that we give to something. It might mean that you have to let go of the belief that because you haven't done X, Y, Z, you're not a failure. <laughs> Your life is not a mess because you don't have X, Y, Z. So we're often, you know, if, if a person is not where they want to be, some, they always have to let go of something. You can't have something new until you create space for it. And sometimes the space that a person needs to create is in letting go of a way, oftentimes, a way of thinking. A way of thinking that then leads to a way of uh, making decisions, uh, patterns of behavior. So what is it at the core of what you're thinking, believing, that is not helping you be where you want to be? You may have to let go of a story of, I'm not worth it, I'm not good enough, I don't have the money, Remember, when you're telling yourself something over and over, that's what you create. That's how it works. It's not magic, but it seems like magic. So I've said this repeatedly over the weeks. Like, what are you telling yourself every single day? And, and to do this work, like to really have something change, you, you, a person needs to learn how to become very aware of that you know, I, I have said this in other spaces. I'm not sure if I've said it on a What Up Wednesday, but 
when I was um, doing a lot of performing prof- uh, professionally, dancing, I would comb through everything I was doing. Like, just like get as much information as I could to make the the performance work. Not, a, not like the performance, the quality of the performance, the actual techni- technical execution of the performance, the way I wanted to feel during the performance, what I was going to be tapping into during the performance. And it was meticulous. And I think it's really important for people to know this as you go for something that you want. Because we can get sold on a success story really um, easily. Like, ooh la la, there it is. And I've seen this a lot when I work with people, especially when I'm doing one-on-one work. They have a vision. And then when I see what they're doing to create that vision, it's like, wait a second, you, you're missing a lot of things in here. And it's not a judgment. It's just, a, it's just an effect of our culture where it's, you know, the work that it takes is not framed within a celebration. Oh, my travel just got canceled. <laughs> it's not framed within the celebration of um, what you're actually creating. So this is, this is, I'll talk about this um, in Let It Go, Let It Flow, and we'll do practices to help support this. It's the law of sacrifice. There's always something that you have to let go of. So when I, you know, to, to, to reach a goal, to create a dream, always. It doesn't have to be painful. Sometimes it might feel a little bit like, oh my God, I have to do this. Yes. Because your dream is worth it. And you want to show up for that dream. So that's what makes the decision, this thing that you're here to do. And you end up showing up for it in whatever way you need to. I knew that I wanted to, I wanted to show up for these dances. So I did whatever I needed to, which meant changing my diet, which meant getting the right amount of sleep, which meant not drinking at all, uh, which meant adjusting my... Uh, income, my budget, or the what I was doing with the money I earned to be able to train in the way that I wanted to. But it never felt like, oh my God, now I can't like lie down and watch Netflix or if I needed to do something like that. By the way, I'm really bad at watching TV. <laughs> I'm just awful at it. <laughs> if I needed to rest, I knew how to put that in. I know now that I that there's a lot I want to do to make things possible, but I scheduled in some sauna time last night so I could know how to take care of myself. But I said this last year, I think, when I was teaching uh, Let It Go, Let It Flow. Nothing changes if you keep making the same decision. Nothing changes if you keep making the same decision because all the decisions you're making right now, today, are creating a tomorrow. Where you are today is because of decisions you've made in the past. So there's always a relationship. It doesn't just come out of nowhere. A person doesn't um, have success in whatever they're wanting. Again, relationship, money, creative career, out of nowhere. A person does, may not always know what they were doing. That's how I was a little bit when I was dancing. I didn't know always what I was doing to be successful in what I was doing. But I, in studying and looking back at that now, it's like, oh my God, yeah, I was doing a lot of things. <laughs> and oftentimes when a person is in their growth, they're not able to see because it is challenging. They're not always able to see the progress they're making. So again, I'll talk about this more in Let It Go, Let It Flow. It's happening December 31st. Um, I want to support you in this because it's a very important step in being able to manifest a vision. And what I like to say, in being able to create the life you desire, because why? There is no reason to not wake up and have something to celebrate about your life every single day. And that's not a judgment. I say that to help people see that there's a choice in there. There's a decision being made. and and help people see how to frame that decision. So you can wake up and be like, okay, here we go, a new day. What's the new thing I can learn today? How can I 
show up in service of what I'm here to do today, in service of who I'm, ta- who I'm here to talk to today. You know, it, it's a very common thing when, when, a, when a person is having a hard time. Well, first of all, I like this thing, like when's the last time you danced? When's the last time you sang? When's the last time you tapped into your creativity? But also when's the last time you connected through what you're here to offer? When's the last time you showed up to serve? In whatever way you're doing that. And I think it's really crucial to tap into that regularly. It's what moves me. And I imagine everyone, even if you're an artist making things in your studio, there's a service in there. There's a purpose in there to support other people. So it's your job to learn how to show up in support of that. And in that process, there are things you're going to need to let go of. Let it go and let it flow. (laughs) And the active, we're gonna talk about the active part of letting it flow too, because it isn't just like, oh, it's gonna happen. There's active engagement in this process as well to create the life you truly desire. All right, my people, I went one minute over. (laughs) Have a beautiful holiday. Let me know if there's a question you want addressed in these What Up Wednesdays and what else? Sign up for Let It Go, Let It Flow. It's the only time I do this in the year. It's the fourth time I'm doing it. It's a lower cost, um, high body talk health. It's a lower cost uh, workshop with me. Um, it's a nice investment. It's a gift to yourself. If you haven't given yourself a holiday gift yet, ding, 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 ding. or ask Santa if you believe in Santa. I don't know, ask, ask, ask your, your heart person for that. You're welcome, Amelia. All right, you guys, lots of love. Have an awesome day. Have an awesome holiday. See you very soon. Sign up for Let It Go, Let It Follow. Thank you so much. Bye, you guys.